Should we play this? Should we do this clip? Yeah, let's do this clip. All right. Funny, weird, uh, <clears throat> actually sports yeah. related clip. Yeah. Okay, so now this is now this is a clip of Bill Walton during oh. an NBA game. Yeah. Now, Josh, do you know who Bill Walton is? I thought it was a college game, but uh, no, I don't. Or it might have been a college. Yeah, yeah it was a college, college game. Games. This oh, is wait, hold on. Bill Walton, I'm going to current, like, announcer, like, former legendary NBA center? Yes. Hall of Fame center. Yeah, you got it. You got it. I know. Are, yeah. Oh, you're just slow rolling as <laughs> well. <laughs> a lot oh, of, I hate sports. A, a lot of people have argued that if he hadn't had so many injuries pile up, he could have been maybe Back one injuries. of the best players of all time. And after this, uh, after hearing this clip, I assume it's head injuries. Well, he's <laughs> well, he's a weird guy. Like he's, he's a deadhead. Yeah. That's, oh, really? Yeah. yeah. And he and he's. I mean, he. He, he, he's one of these guys who just thinks that he's much more of an intellectual than well, he really is. Well, <laughs> he well, what it was is stupid. he's a guy that... Oh, he should have a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so this is, a, this is a clip of him during a game. American Conference quarters at noon East Carolina SMU, then it's Memphis and Temple. So while you are here glorifying hate, glorifying dirty play, glorifying f- flagrant fouls, and selfish individual play, I'm going to celebrate the birthdays of peace and love with Jack Kerouac, Liza Minnelli, and James Taylor, (laughs) who have all been big-time headline performers right here in Las Vegas, the peaceful, relaxing meadows in the heart of the Mojave Desert. Sports Center's up next here on ESPN. (laughs) 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 When it was erupting... That last line's the best. Oh, did did, did I cut it off before then? You cut Meadows in the heart of the Mojave Desert. Sports Center's up next here on ESPN. Have you ever been to a volcano? <laughs> it was erupting. <laughs> the best part of the, how the, how his his partner in the booth just tries to move it along, like, okay, Walton's rant is done. Uh, Sports Center's up next. <laughs> Have you ever been to an active volcano? <laughs> like, it's the what? kind of thing a, a serial killer says before he. <laughs> I didn't really read the. Uh, I I didn't know it was Bill Walton or anything. I listened to the. I watched the clip. And I was like, they are having Jesse Ventura all of a sudden do basketball games. That's what I seriously thought. And uh, I don't know who this Walton guy is, but can we, he needs his own show. Can we take that clip out of context, convince people that he was a former NFL player, and that's what too many concussions does to <laughs> The general state of commentary during sports is bad. Like yeah. most – sports commentators that you hear on TV are guys who you know what's funny about it is that those people get those jobs for every reason other than that they're good at that job like they get those jobs because they play the sport and are famous and are a big name like you know Bill Walton didn't go to broadcasting school I don't think or he might have at UCLA I don't think so because like until uh, I've heard, I've heard that there are a lot of communications yeah. majors. <laughs> well, like, like during the, like during the KU Wichita State game that has me so goddamn depressed today. <clears throat> you know, the guy doing the commentary was Chris Weber, who's terrible. He, he was terrible, and he and he got he got a thousand things wrong during the broadcast. Very better than Grant Hill. Oh, Gr- Grant Hill also bad, but like none of those people. Are, hey, it could be Charles Barkley who's just like throwing out random stuff. Where Barkley he at least said is that hilarious. Cliff Alexander was playing for Kansas yesterday. And uh, right. <laughs> spoiler alert: he was not. <laughs> Those are all names that I recognized because of NBA Jam Tournament Edition. <laughs> hey, you're right. <laughs> what a the, sports the, fanatic you yeah, are! The golden yeah. peak of that game. <laughs> Well, no, like, but like, I mean, they they're announcers just because they were former athletes. Like, pretty much, there's a bottomless yeah. well of former athletes. Oh yeah, the leagues knock out a thousand former athletes every season. Like, yeah, like, and not most of them aren't like stars, but like, there's more stars, like former, like good players, than there are announcers. Like, and they, it's the guys that like hardly played are like the best at. Doing color commentary. <laughs> it's not the guys right. that were like the Hall of Famers and stuff. Where those well, are like few and far between. Sure. Well, and a lot of the them, guy- like, it's also one of those self fulfilling prophecies where a lot of them are former coaches. Like if you right. listen, like if you listen to um, ESPN, just uses the rehab. We're like, oh, we know you're not going to coach for a couple years. Come on here, sound smart. 
pick on people than you right. do another job. I mean, I would almost argue that one of the the worst people to have describing sports to you are people who got fired for being bad at coaching it. I think of but Herb those Edwards are the people... on ESPN where I'm like, you got fired for being terrible! <laughs> Fran Fraschilla. Fran Fraschilla is the worst. Fran Fraschilla is terrible. He doesn't understand basketball. But like... And he got fired for being terrible at coaching it, yet he does the entire college basketball I, I I like I, whoever this guy is, I love him. Because, because he he has something to say, and it's makes it entertaining to me. That's the most entertaining commentary I've ever heard on any sports <laughs> anything. Have you ever been to an active <laughs> volcano? Have, have you ever been in a volcano? <laughs> I tune in the Pac-12 games knowing that Bill Walton's going to call them. And just <laughs> like, all right. They we're going to go on a Bill Walton trip where, like, just, like, Google Bill Walton broadcast because there's they have, like, a segment of him where he's doing, like, some intellectual thing where he's, like, in a uh, teepee in his backyard and there's, like, a dog. He's holding a guitar and it's just, like, the craziest two minutes. Didn't yeah. he also have a show one time called, like, Bill Walton's Long Strange Road Trip or something oh, yeah, like that? So, yeah, He was, like, driving around in an RV <laughs> and, like, just, just, I don't know. Here we are at Area 51. <laughs> you ever been to Area? It's you know, Jesse. there's aliens in the league. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it, it, it was. It's pretty funny. It, he's the. He is the athletic answer to. Um, uh, what's the What's the guy I'm thinking of? Star. Play the cop in Point Break. Not Keanu Reeves. Uh, Gary Busey. He's. Oh, he's, he's definitely the sports the, world's Gary Busey. Yes, that's fair. Mm. <laughs> the, well, with that volcano question, with that that brings up a really important question to me, which is, uh, does Bill Walton own a piece of real estate that could be accurately categorized as a lair? <laughs> Likely, he he's he has enough money to afford, he can afford a lair. So yeah. we should make, have we should make him emperor. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like we could get him on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least the Colin guest. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll uh we'll get right on that. I'll get my uh I'll get my He just jumped onto Twitter, so like follow him on Twitter and Reach out to him and be like, man, you're the kind of demographic we're looking for. He, you know what? He might call. He might call it. <laughs> he might, he's <laughs> one of those guys who might just be, no, oh, fuck it, I'll call him. <laughs> yeah. These guys are crazy. He calls on his cell phone while he's in a volcano. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have you ever taken a cell phone call from inside an active <laughs> volcano? That's right. right. Not so fast. <laughs> Do you guys know what confusion tastes like? Like, yeah, it would just ask weird questions like that that don't make any sense.